Hello everyone, welcome back again to Military TV. Today I'm going to take you to see why the F-16 fighter jet is operated by 25 countries. The F-16 is a single-engine, highly maneuverable, supersonic, multi-role tactical fighter aircraft. It is much smaller and lighter than its predecessor, but uses advanced aerodynamics and avionics originally developed by General Dynamics for the United States Air Force. Designed as an air superiority day fighter, it evolved into a successful all-weather multi-role aircraft. The F-16 Fighting Falcon, the first of the U.S. Air Force multi-role aircraft fighter, is the world's most prolific fighter with more than 2,000 in service with the USAF, and approximately 3,000 operational F-16s are in service today in 25 countries. By some estimates, F-16s make up an outsized 16% of the total number of jets flown by militaries around the world, a testament to what is easily the world's most successful combat-proven multi-role jet fighter ever produced. The fast and agile F-16 Fighting Falcon isn't just one of the top fighters, it is also amongst the most cost-effective. While it lacks the range and payload of the larger twin-engine F-15 Eagle, it also costs less than half, which is why the fourth-generation F-16 has been in use since the 1970s and will likely keep flying for many years to come. Innovations include a frameless bubble canopy for better visibility, a side-mounted control stick, and a reclined seat to reduce G-force effects on the pilot. The F-16 was the world's first aircraft able to withstand higher G-forces than the pilot's. The F-16 was the first fighter aircraft purpose-built to pull 9G maneuvers and can reach a maximum speed of over Mach 2. The Fighting Falcon entered service in 1979. The last of 2,231 F-16 fighters for the U.S. Air Force was delivered in March 2005. The first two-seat F-16D version was accepted by the U.S. government in January 2009. Aerospace Industrial Development Corporation AIDC, and Lockheed Martin signed an agreement to establish a F-16 fighter jet maintenance center in Taiwan in December 2019. The F-16 Block 7072 is the newest and most advanced F-16 production configuration, combining numerous capabilities and structural upgrades. The F-16 Block 7072 variant, also known as the Viper, will become the base F-16 model. In addition to a reduced radar cross-section, Lockheed claims that the Viper estimated structural life is 50% greater than previous F-16s. The F-16 was born out of the conundrum experienced by the Air Force in the Vietnam War. Fast and heavy F-4 Phantom fighters had underperformed against the North Vietnamese Air Force due to their immature long-range missile technology and lack of aptitude for tight maneuvering in dogfights. This led a faction known as the Fighter Mafia to argue that the U.S. Air Force had its design priorities all wrong and that what was really needed was a relatively cheap, lightweight airframe that maximized energy for short-range dogfights rather than another heavy twin-engine fighter like the F-15 Eagle that was then under development. Support for a light fighter eventually consolidated in the Pentagon due to simple economics. The Air Force liked the F-15, but realized it was too expensive to equip all its fighter squadrons, so it came to seek a high-low force mix. Eventually, two prototypes faced off in a competitive trial in 1974, the Northrop YF-17 and the General Dynamics YF-16. The latter was unanimously found to be more responsive, while the former evolved into the Hornet fighters now serving in the Marines and the U.S. Navy. The first production F-16As went on to enter service in 1980, joined by the two-seat F-16B variant. The single-engine F-16 leveraged new design technologies to maximize kinematic performance. A powerful Pratt & Whitney F-100 engine with the intake slung under the fuselage could generate an excellent thrust-to-weight ratio due to the overall lightness of the Falcon, propelling the F-16 to twice the speed of sound at high altitude. Pronounced strakes bulged out like the hood of a cobra from the fuselage to support the cropped delta wings, enabling very high roll rates. A bulging bubble canopy afforded an excellent field of view for the pilot. The latest version of the Fighting Falcon is powered by a single engine, either the General Electric F-110 GE-129 
or Pratt & Whitney F100 PW229. And while it is a speedy fighter, it can pack a serious punch. The F-16 has nine hardpoints for weapons payloads, including one at each wingtip, three under each wing, and one centerline under the fuselage. It has carried a variety of air-to-air -air missiles, including the Lockheed Martin Raytheon AIM-9 Sidewinder, Raytheon AMRAAM, Raytheon Sparrow, MBDA, formerly Matra BAE Dynamics, Skyflash, and ASRAM, and the MBDA R-550 Magic II. And in April 2004, it was the first fighter to fire the new generation AIM-9X Sidewinder. Air-to-surface missiles carried on the F-16 include Maverick, Harm, and Shrike missiles manufactured by Raytheon. And anti-ship missiles include Boeing Harpoon and Konsberg Penguin. A 20mm Vulcan cannon on the lower fuselage served as a backup weapon. Due to delays and cost overruns in the F-35 stealth fighter program, the U.S. Air Force intends to continue flying its 1200 F-16s well into the 2040s by extending the airframe service life from 8 to 12,000 hours. The Fighting Falcon has proven to be a fine and versatile combat jet, and furthermore, by one count, it cost $22,000 per flight hour to operate, compared to $42,000 for a twin-engine F-15. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos.